we're paddling past these massive cliffs along the shore of the Porcupine River and came across this cave. I believe it's called the Eye Cave because when you paddle in and you look straight up, there's a perfect hole and you can see the sky through it. Sometimes you don't have to portage the rapid, but you can't run it. So what do you do? You line it. Now the best way to line a boat when you're lining with one person is from a single rope from the stern. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm basically just gonna guide the canoe down the river using ropes as I run along shore. Lining can be pretty dangerous. I mean, you gotta be careful. There's still potential to lose your boat. Your boat washed down river with your entire outfit. There's potential that you crash into a rock, that you pin, that you wrap your boat, and potential that you yourself I'll fall in, slip into the water while you're doing it. So I always like to wear a good life jacket while I'm lining as well. How was that? A bit portage. Big time. There's the falls that we're portaging around. Well, let's go get her done. Stay further left, don't go that way. Come up towards me. Come up towards me. Oh, you're gonna fall. Nice. Relatively short portage, but pretty treacherous. Good size though, eh? Pretty big. The Dene natives in uh, past days that used to paddle this river, they called this lower canyon Dead Man's River. A little bit of a tricky situation here. So yeah, we're gonna have to go to that eddy and then front ferry over that current and then line down the little chute to left of that rock. It doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of churning current and a hole there, and down river is a lot of white water. I'm nervous. I don't want to do any of it. We're going to have to perform this ferry with Buck on the boat too. It's kind of sketchy, but we're going to have to go for it. gonna paddle across the river to an eddy over there. So it's not a long portage, but that's the beginning, is literally right up a slippery rock cliff. Oh God. You did it. We made it past um, another portage around a class four and five, loaded the boat up. If all goes well, we'll make it to the confluence and we will have completed the Porcupine River today. However, we still gotta be careful. So we're coming up to the last major rapid on the Porcupine, a class three plus, and I'm gonna try to solo it. A lot of irregular waves, but I really gave it a good scout and I think I'll be okay. So let's see what happens. Well, that went pretty well. We're gonna be done the Porcupine River today, but this lower canyon here has just been absolutely freaking beautiful. And actually the, the last three or four days have just been spectacular, so it's been awesome. 